guys, here is the final ice, the wine ice ring already. See, I just took it out, thawed it out, just really quick, just ran some water over the base, and it's all ready to go, set up. Now, preference is however you want it. You could actually have it upside down, which is this way. Now, that's okay because it doesn't really show much. I prefer it to be right side up because it gives you that effect, the 3D effect with all the decor that I put on there. So that's the setup. Okay, now we're going to go over here and pan over to the table. We got the chip and veggie tray ready to go. All these are irregular, but that lets you know that they were freshly cut, as I told you guys earlier. The best trays to make are the ones you do on your own. The store-bought ones, you don't know the expiration date on them. You don't know what's at the bottom of the tray, so always make sure you make fresh trays for your guests because they are a lot more appreciated than making um, just buying the store brought trays okay so that's that and I really want to show you guys the wine ice ring so now it's time for the party to start I will see you guys later um, I may give you a video or two or a picture of the actual setup of the chicken which is the Cornish hens and matter of fact let's let's go to the kitchen right now let's take a look at these Cornish hens I wanted to show you guys these earlier they're finally cooked ready to go i'm just going to place them in the serving tray welcome to the cornish hens look at that beautiful nice and crispy on the outside tender in the inside very juicy the carrots are well preserved in the juice they're not dry at all the celery cooked divinely it's it's a perfect perfect meal for a family of six that's coming over in just a bit so all right the party's about to start i love you guys keep subscribing and happy eating